to understand the Bohr-Berry rules for writing the electronic configuration of an atom. You already know that an atom consists of the nucleus at its center, which contains positively charged protons and electrically neutral neutrons. The number of protons in an atom is called its atomic number, represented by Z. The mass number of an atom, decided by the sum of protons and neutrons present in an atom, is represented by A. Besides protons and neutrons, there are negatively charged particles called electrons which revolve around the nucleus in various shells or orbits. The representation showing the arrangement of electrons in the different shells of an atom is known as its electronic configuration. The electron shells of an atom are not filled arbitrarily, but in accordance with a set of rules called the Bohr-Berry rules. We shall discuss Bohr-Berry rules that help us write the electronic configuration of elements up to calcium, whose atomic number is 20. Rule 1. The maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in a shell is given by 2n square, where n denotes the orbit number or shell number. For example, for the first orbit, n is equal to 1, therefore 2n square is equal to 2. So the k-shell can accommodate a maximum of two electrons. For the second orbit, n is equal to 2, therefore 2n square equals 8. So the second orbit, or the shell L, can accommodate a maximum of 8 electrons. Similarly, the third orbit, or the shell M, and the fourth orbit, or the shell N, can have a maximum of 18 and 32 electrons, respectively. Therefore, the shells K, L, M, and N can accommodate a maximum of 2, 8, 18, 32 electrons, respectively. Rule 2. The outermost shell of an atom cannot contain more than 8 electrons in any case. A new shell is formed as soon as the outermost shell is filled with 8 electrons. For example, the third orbit can accommodate a maximum of 18 electrons. So when 8 electrons occupy the third orbit, or shell M, the atom gains a certain degree of stability. Hence, the next electron, instead of entering the third orbit, goes into the fourth orbit, or shell N. Rule 3. The penultimate shell cannot have more than 18 electrons. By now, it should be clear that the one electron present in a hydrogen atom occupies the K-shell, and so do the two electrons present in a helium atom. The lithium atom has three electrons. As per the rule 1, the K-shell cannot have more than two electrons. The third electron of the lithium atom must then go to the next shell, that is, the L shell. So its electronic configuration is 2, 1. However, there is a convention which does not allow the names of the shells to be mentioned in the electronic configuration. The order in which the electrons are arranged and their numbers are mentioned to indicate the order of the shells, such as K, L, M, N, respectively. For instance, consider potassium. The atomic number of potassium is 19. Therefore, there are 19 electrons revolving around its nucleus.
Out of these, two electrons enter the first orbit, eight enter the second orbit, another eight of them enter the third orbit, and the remaining electron enters the fourth orbit instead of the third orbit. Hence, electronic configuration of potassium is written as 2, 8, 8, 1. Electronic configuration of elements up to calcium. The electronic configuration of hydrogen is 1. Helium is 2. Lithium is 2, 1. Beryllium is 2, 2. Boron is 2, 3. Carbon is 2, 4. Nitrogen is 2, 5. Oxygen is 2, 6. Fluorine is 2, 7. Neon is 28, sodium is 281, magnesium is 282, aluminium is 283, silicon is 284, phosphorus is 285, sulfur is 286, chlorine is 287, Argon is 288. Potassium is 2881. And calcium is 2882.